Who wants to know if I've lost any weight this week or since last weigh-in? If you do, stay around and get to the next clip. So, welcome back to my channel and welcome to this weigh-in. Some of you, I think, have been waiting for me to do a weigh-in because I've had a couple of messages saying, have I stopped doing weigh-ins? No, I haven't stopped doing weigh-ins, but I have been away on holiday, which you will know if you watch me regularly. And then I've just been really busy and I didn't have time to record one. So I am recording one now. My last weigh-in was the 1st of August. So this is the third, the third week. Now, I went away on holiday to Cornwall. Did we have a good time? Yes, although it was a tad boring, or shall I say a tad relaxed. We didn't really do much. It was just nice to be around four different walls. And well, we did have a good time until my husband became rather ill through an insect bite. But you'll know about that if you watch me. So, was I good on my holiday? Well, I'd say half and half. I was good the first few days, and then I did think to myself, I'm on holiday. I'm not going to count calories. I'm not going to go mad, but I'm not going to count calories. So, I ditched my NutriCheck app for a few days and just ate what I wanted. I didn't go mad. I just made things without counting. I was trying to be mindful and I know how many calories are in most things. So I know if that's right or wrong or whatever. So I didn't bother counting. Like I say, I didn't go mad mad, but I had what I wanted. The odd ice cream, the odd sandwich with maybe a little bit thicker butter on it than I would have had, stuff like that. We didn't really go out a lot for food. I went shopping because, you know, I do like a shop even when on holiday, even though in Cornwall I found the shops compared to where I live, let's say, rubbish. But obviously you don't go on holiday to shop, do you? But yeah, I didn't find them that good. So I basically cooked in a caravan. So I did weigh when I came back off holiday and the scales weren't my friend. The scale showed that I had gained five pounds. So I was like, I ain't gained five pound. No way have I gained five pound. So I thought, oh, do the batteries need changing? So I've changed my batteries and I haven't weighed until this morning. So was that five pound still showing this morning? We'll see. Let's get on to Christmas. Yes, Christmas. How many weeks do you think it is till Christmas? Yes, 17 weeks, 17. How much lard can I shift in 17 weeks? Who knows? Stick around to find out. I'm not thinking to myself, oh, it's 17 weeks. I've got to get in a dress. I've got to get into that black number for my Christmas do. Because firstly, I have given up my job to sort my mother and stuff out and be here for the kids in school holidays and stuff my husband said to me right you give up work and i've got a really bad leg which i'm not going to go into because you all know i've got a bad leg and the stairs every day in work were just a nightmare and blah de blah de blah and i gave up my customer service job of 21 years so i don't have a christmas party that i'm thinking oh yeah, let's get into that number for Christmas. I've got no, when I say I've got no motivation, I've got motivation, but I've got nothing to aim for. There's no party, there's, you know, things like that. However, I do find weight loss charts motivational. And as you know, I have got some weight loss charts. However, I do not have a Christmas countdown weight loss chart. But I'll rephrase that. I didn't until the weekend. Now I have been sent by the lovely Kaylee at Winster Creations a Christmas countdown weight loss chart 
will I be sticking any stickers on it this week? We will see. So she does these personalized weight loss charts. I know some of you have purchased them. Now, this one is obviously the Christmas themed one. You can have the stonage you require on there. I went for three stone. Can I lose three stone in 17 weeks? Yeah, that's doable. Will I fill this chart by Christmas? Comment down below if you think I will or you think I won't. Who knows? But you get this laminated chart. Obviously, you have your own name on it, unless you're called Karen or Kaza. Um, and it just says Kaza's Countdown to Christmas Weight Loss Chart. So we shall see shortly if this remains blank or if we get any of these on there. Let's have a look. You do get the stickers with it as well. It's a nice red Christmas themed stickers. Now, if you do fancy some motivation to put on your fridge or your cupboard door or wherever you want to keep your weight loss charts, then you can get 15% off using Casa 15. Now, these are 4 95 you get the chart and the stickers, and you also get free postage within the UK. So, stickers, chart, how many are going on there? Or am I not going to be taking any off? We shall see. We shall see. Bear with. So, I changed my calories before I went on holiday through the Nutri Check app. I went in, I edited my details. I put in my latest weight, my um, goal for one and a half pound weight loss. Now, I have used various weight loss calculators to see what calories I should be on. James Smith, TDE, NutriCheck, NHS one I've had a look at. There's loads out there. You basically put your details in tells you how many calories a day you should have to lose X amount of weight. Now, I did use NutriCheck calculations before, and then I changed them. You know, swap and change is good. and stick into the same thing all the time. The TDE calculator, you have to take 500 calories off the, uh, the answer that they give you. The other ones you don't. So I rejigged my app, adding all my details in, and it gave me a new calculation of calories, which was more than I was on. And not by a lot, a couple of hundred more a day. And that was for a one and a half pound weight loss. So I'm sticking with that at the moment. I'm happy with the calories. I have ended up this week with quite a lot of calories left over. One day I had 700 and something left over. I had a couple of hundred left over yesterday. And I think now I'm going to try and aim to not snack as much and try and use the calories in my meals. I'm not saying I'm not going to snack or I'm not going to have this or I'm not going to have that. But I do tend to like to keep any spare calories for the evening and then I will eat what? A lot of people were class as rubbish. But if I can eat that rubbish within my calories, I will. And a lot of you are thinking, oh, you're not very healthy. I'm not aiming to be, well, I'm aiming to be healthy, I suppose, one day. But I'm not aiming to be a health guru, a fitness fanatic. I'm just aiming to be a smaller person than what I am now. And by eating what I want to eat within the calories allowance I'm allowed... It's getting me slowly where I need to be. It's not a race. I'm not trying to beat the next person. I'm not looking at other people on YouTube and thinking, oh, she lost three pound last week. Why haven't I lost three pound? Well, she lost five pound and blah, blah, blah. I lose what I lose every week. If I gain, I gain. I don't gain a lot. When I say I don't gain a lot, I gain. When I do have a gain, I gain a lot as in an amount because when I'm bad I'm bad but when I'm good I'm really good but I don't gain like every other week or I don't gain one week lose the next gain one week lose the next I'm not doing that I do lose you know every week nearly mostly you know what I mean you know what I'm trying to say so 
I've got nothing on this week as in to get in my way. It is now, what is it? It's 10 to 11. And at 11 o'clock, I have to go down to my mum's and get her. We have a hospital appointment. I haven't yet had anything to eat. I will probably grab something when I'm out. I've got nothing on this week that's going to get in my way calorie-wise, thinking, oh, I'm not going to have enough calories to do that. I'm not going anywhere socially. I'm not, well, there's no birthdays, nothing. So there's nothing getting in my way to have a completely on plan. When I say on plan, there is no plan. There is no plan. It's just pure calories, which at the end of the day, every single diet plan out there, whether it's sins or whether it's, whoa, I can't even remember, points, whatever, they all ultimately stem down to calories. They're just in a different format. So, my plan is my plan. I just do it through the help of NutriCheck. I do have a code for NutriCheck if any of you want to use it. I get nothing out of you using the code. Just you get a deal. I will stick all the details down below. I can't remember the code offhand. It's KD something. I'll stick it there, that code. If you use that code, it's valid up until December. I don't know whether they will prolong it or not, but December so far is when it's valid till. And when they're not on offer, they're usually $29.99 for the year. But if you use that code, you will get it for $23.99. And you will also get one extra free month. So if you have been thinking about having a dabble with NutriCheck, then, you know, and they're not on offer, then you can give that a go. It's a little saving and an extra month. I personally love NutriCheck. It's the best one I have found. I have used my fitness pal in the past, but compared to NutriCheck, it's a no-brainer for me to use NutriCheck. I love it. It's worth the money. What else have I got to say? I haven't really got anything else to say other than how much I've lost this week or gained or maintained. So... New chart starts this week on the countdown to Christmas. Do I need any stickers? Yes, I do. How many though? Let's start off with one. Just trying to peel it off with one hand. Right, so my countdown to Christmas, I have started with... My first pound. But do I need any more of these stickers? I do. I do. Let's stick another one on there. So, two pounds so far. Two stickers. Do I need any more this week? I don't. So, this week, I have lost two pounds now i say this week it's two pounds since my last weigh-in but bearing in mind i've had a holiday i haven't been counting calories as i should have until last week i did potentially have a five pound gain on my scales which wasn't counted because i don't know whether that was just the scales or what but who knows but I have come in since my last weigh in with a two pound weight loss and I'm happy with a two pound weight loss. Whether you class that as over the last couple of weeks, then pound a week, whatever. But it's two pound. I was 21.5 when I last weighed and I am now 21.3. So it's two pound. I'm happy with two pound. It starts off my lovely chart. So if you want some motivation, get ordering your personalised charts. Like I said, everything will be down below. This is going to go up in my kitchen and I'm going to go off and sort my mother out. So I will catch you later on for what I eat in a day. And I will also be off to make some bread and butter pudding when I'm back from the hospital. My mother gave me, my mother constantly buys loaves of bread and then, because she's on her own, she doesn't eat them. So she's given me a crustless 
um, loaf. So I'm going to make some bread of butter pudding. I made a crumble yesterday and by watching me, it makes you think, how is she eating all that stuff and losing weight? But I'm counting it within my calories. And yes, you probably think, oh, bread and butter pudding, that's loaded with calories. It is. But if you have a small portion of it, a small something small of what you like, keeps me going. If I eat constant salads and veg and all that, which, yes, is really good for you, it makes me then go into a binge. I haven't had a binge calorie counting for, I, I can't even tell you the last time I had a binge. When I was on different diet plans, I would be absolutely shit hot for a few weeks and then I would spiral into these insane binges where I would eat everything in the house that wasn't nailed down and I'd go next door and empty their fridge and all. You know what I mean? I would just eat everything. I don't binge anymore and I don't binge because I'm eating the stuff that I like to eat and I'm losing weight. So it's win-win. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for all your support. I have got a giveaway going on at the moment, which was on the vlog from yesterday. You'll see on the thumbnail it says giveaway. All you need to do is be subscribed, like that video and comment down below on that video only. And I'll leave that open for about a week. And I will uh, see you on the next one. So I will see you next Monday for update on weigh-in bearing in mind my app is now set for one and a half pounds my scales don't do half pounds so we shall see the result next week um and yeah enough rambling on remember 17 weeks 17 think of the weight loss that and the transformation you could do to yourself in the next 17 weeks see you guys Thanks for watching, as always, and all for your lovely comments and support that you give me. So, bye guys.